Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In this video, we will discuss about changing column data types in PostgreSQL database without losing data. Without losing data means we will do the column data type change in existing table that is already having the data. Okay, so in this case, uh, to explain uh, this concept, I have taken three cases. One is simple case that is we can change data type to integer to big int to numeric that is interconvertible data types okay such as care to where care where care to care text like that okay so this is the first case and second is uh, for using the second is you using using clause that is also we'll see in that we'll change data type from where care to integer integer to where care but that comes with some restrictions okay and the third case will be uh, one advanced case that will also will cover okay so let's start with the simple data type change that is integer to big int that is in interconvertible data types okay so for that the syntax will be alter table table name and then alter column column name type and then the new data type okay so for that let's create a simple table the table is created now let's uh, insert few dummy records okay as of now we are treating them as integer but the situation comes that we need to change the data type so let me verify the data we can see here these are integer okay okay uh, these are the integers now to change the data type we we'll use this syntax alter table table name then alter column column name type and the then the new data type okay let me change it okay it is changed now let me query again okay if we see oh, well, now the data type is changed to begin similarly if i put here numeric so it will be changed easily because that uh, these data types are interconvertible okay so this was the first case and the second case would be data type change using with using clause okay that is where care to integer integer to where care okay but in this case you need to remember one restrictions is there that the data should be uh, interconvertible okay for example say i have a column of where care and that where care that column contains data like 3 to 4 four three five five like this so up to this if i have data or that contains only numeric value that is easily convertible okay but if i have data that contains alphanumeric like say we can like this that is we can say license license number or uh, car number plate like that so we will be unable to change that okay because we cannot just change the varchar to integer because these are the text or symbols is uh, present so that will be not possible to convert okay we can convert to text or other data type not to integer that is not to numeric data type okay so this is one restriction that you need to remember while doing this so let's uh, move forward with this and the syntax would be like this alter table table name then alter column column name type and then the new data type using we are using the using clause and then column name and we are type casting this uh, data okay so let's see an example we are creating one table okay that is currently this is where care and let's insert some value okay here we we can see though i have created uh, though i have taken the column data table is varchar but i am putting only the numeric value no alphabet or symbols okay because i'll be unable to convert the data type okay now let's change the data type if i do alter table table name and alter column the column name type integer using this is type casted now so let's alter the data type okay the type data type is changed the table is altered now now let's verify the data okay now we can see the data type has changed to integer now this case 3 is complex and important to understand the data type change with complex transformation okay so for that uh, say uh, one example i can give you uh, for example 
uh, I have a column that contains date data but the data type is where care okay so how we can convert that to date uh, data type okay so for that what we need to do is we need to go through some multiple steps okay so how we can do it first we will add a new temporary column okay using this uh, uh, syntax then we'll push all the existing data to new column with new data type that is important to remember if we put as it is then there will be no gain in this case okay so next step will be dropping the old the existing column and then renaming the new temporary column as existing column okay so there are total four steps involved okay let's understand it through example and one more thing thing over that you need to remember that since we are dropping the column so if there is a, there exist any index on existing column so you need to rebuild them how you can do it so the best idea is before dropping anything you can always take out the ddl that is you can always take the take out the create table script as i can show you quickly okay say i want to take the backup of this table just right click here go to script and go to create script okay uh, this will give you the create table script okay so this is it so you need to take the backup of it so that you can understand all the indexes and all the properties of your existing table okay now let's come to our topic okay so uh, let's create the table to uh, understand this case so in this case i'm changing the varchar to date data type okay now let's insert some varchar date varchar data uh, date data with varchar data type let's insert these values into this table now i can verify them if i verify them i can see here clearly that uh, these are data values these are the date values but having the data type of character varying okay that is character data type now my four steps will come okay that is add a new temporary column with desired data type let's do that okay i have added one new column let let's see that how that column and data looks like okay this is new date column and the data type is date and as of now this is null because we haven't done anything now what we need to do is we need to update the table we need to put data into this column with the desired data, data type okay so for that what i what i'm doing i'm doing it to date okay i'm using to date function to update the data and put into the new column okay rows are updated now let's check the data okay in my table i have same data but one with date column and one with character varying so what would be the next step next to do next step would be drop this column and rename then rename this column to the old column the existing column okay now let's do that I'll drop this old one okay old column is dropped and now I'll rename this okay this is also syntax to rename the column you can remember ultra table table name rename column column name to this new name this is same same as Oracle okay so the column name is also re renamed now let's verify the table data okay this this is how it looks like so in this video i have shown you shown you three use cases of uh, changing data types without lo losing the data and important point is to remember that if there is any indexes in existing column you need to rebuild them so this was all about in this video let's meet in the next video with another topic so till then take care bye bye and if you found this video helpful please do like the video so that youtube will encourage such videos on this platform okay bye bye